I smiled and he didn't smile back at me. And then he was like, I don't look like my pictures. There are women that believe that serving their husband is a good partnership. You, as a woman that is looking at me right now, you are a gold digger. Because men marry what they see that she is right now. They don't expect anything too much. But when a woman marries a man, she's expecting... Some of the Western men, when arriving to Asia, they find that there is still the uh, calmness in women, something more feminine uh, than back home. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. Guys, I just finished my date and I am so embarrassed. I'm not gonna cry in here, I'm not gonna cry. I'm sorry guys, I just had a um, clean myself up a little bit he came he came and so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to and it was a little too expensive but i, I don't know i asked my sister for money so we went i had this like i had this dress on and i changed because i just no read the script i had this dress on and everything and i had my hair out like you know guys i cut it but it wasn't like this i had it parted a little bit and so I went in and he was like looking around like oh like he was looking for somebody else and I was like okay I'm like hey I'm Tia and then he was like Tia I'm like yeah it's for me from BLK and then we he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down so I sat down I smiled and he didn't smile back at me and then he was like I don't look like my pictures I do look on my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. And he was like, you know, just being so quiet through the meal and all that. He didn't even want to pay. I said, hey, I didn't bring my money with me. And then he eventually paid. And then now he cashed. He, he sent me a request to pay for the food. And that's not... I just don't understand why are men like this men are evil now she's feeling emotional and she doesn't realize something right from that picture i just seen you look presentable you had a nerve to make a video reacting to it probably looking close to how you went on a date i'm not saying you looked as bad as you do now but i see a big difference so you could have been on a date looking similar to how, how you are now. The guy is thinking catfish. What do you think? And you, you get emotional. <laughs> no, men are very visual creatures. It's common sense. Easy to figure out. So why would you get upset? It, it, it boggles my mind because the guy, I'll tell you this. If you're going to present yourself a certain way, present yourself that way all the time, right? And only thing with you is you would have to do it even on your downtime, on your day off. Because if you turn around and just start looking like this, a man's going to be like, ah, oh, that's going to happen while you're together. And he may just depart. It could be a month from now, two months from now. He is leaving. You're going to have that, that problem for a long time. I don't believe in equality. I believe in equity. Mm. And there's a huge difference. What's the difference? Equality is you and me, we're dating. You make half a million dollars a year. I make $50,000 a year. We go 50-50 on our rent on our apartment. It's equal. It's not fair. Whereas equity is if you and I are dating, you make half a million dollars. I make $50,000. And you pay for most of the rent. And I pay for my portion. And it is prorated based on how much we make. Because it is then a comparable burden on our financial situations. Mm -hmm. It's the same percentage of your income as it is for me. Guys, look, I'm not one to pay. Well, I am one to pay a woman's whole rent, right? But the way she sounds, oh, I'm going to split this and I'm going to pay this. And I'm, it's, it's fair. And she sounds like feminist to the core, right? Most women like that. And she doesn't know. It's I'm, I'm sorry, lady. I don't know you. But you sound masculine to me. The way you're breaking this down, it sounds off. It sounds like you're looking for a way out. I'm. That's just what I see. When I look at a modern woman today. Let's talk about trad wives. Have you guys seen this trending on TikTok? So it's very traditional stay-at-home moms or housewives whose belief it is that it's their job to serve their husband. He's the leader and their job is to serve him. 
and I just am sort of baffled that in this day and age that there are women that believe that serving their husband is a good partnership. To me, that's not a partnership. Once you're serving someone else, that becomes an imbalance of power. Feminist. Yeah. What is the difference between a feminist and a knife? Uh, what sort of a comparison is that? I don't understand. Should I tell you the answer? Yeah. At least a knife has a point. <laughs> And then it's not a partnership in my opinion. And I was a stay at home mom for 20 years. My, when my kids were little, I stayed home. My husband has a job that requires him to travel, but that was a decision that we made together. Never did I feel like I needed to serve him. Does that mean I don't do nice things for him or cook for him or help him? Of course I do, but he does things for me as well because it's a partnership. Listen lady. I don't know what you're thinking serving means. See, a lot of times women get that confused. They think like, oh, I'm serving you. No, it's not that. What you were doing that whole time was serving your husband. Let me let her finish. And I think it's important for women to have some type of identity outside of just being a wife and mom. Is that important? Yes, of course it is. But we have daughters and they all have an education so that if they decide to stay home with their kids at some point, which again, I did, I'm not opposed to at all, um, that they have an education in their back pocket. And I've always told the girls to like, get some type of part-time job outside of the house that you can have some identity for something that you want to do, or maybe a hobby that, you know, you have something that is your own. I think anytime you end up serving someone, there's going to be resentment down the road. And in my opinion, one of the biggest things in a marriage is respect. And I think it's hard to respect somebody who's just serving you all the time. That's just my opinion. I'm curious to hear what you guys' opinion is. Well, your idea of serving is way off. Um, it's not slavery, right? If, if you're at home, and like, as you said, you cooked, you cleaned, then you served your husband. Of course, things are even, evenly like a partnership. Like I'll give you an example. My wife, she works for me, right? She does certain things, but sometimes she can't cook. I'll cook, right? Same thing. I see it at the same time. She cooks most of the time, but I don't, I don't mind cooking as well. I don't mind cleaning as well. I'm not looking at her to serve me, right? But for the most part, she will do it all. So it's still even. So what she was saying, don't take away from what it is. What you were doing where you were serving your husband and women need to have it in their head nowadays. Women, especially in a situation like yours, need to serve their husbands. They want the man to keep coming home. They need to keep cooking for him, cleaning for him and making them happy. Making sure the nutcases are empty, right? Oh, absolutely. When he shoots, he should have nothing but blanks in them things because they're all inside of you. All women are gold diggers. Yes, I am a gold digger. You, as a woman that is looking at me right now, you are a gold digger. That's a who's that? All women are gold digger. It's just that some of them are very good at hiding the shovel. You will not see it. You just see them, they come. You never know, they're gold, they come to dig. Now, let me explain to you why I think and I believe that for sure women are gold diggers, all of them. Now, somebody will be so quick to type that eh, I was with my husband when he had nothing. Did you marry your husband with the idea that as he had nothing, he will have nothing forever? No, of course. You married him for the potential that he's going to be rich one day. Women marry men hoping that the men will change in future, but a man will marry a woman hoping that the woman stays exactly the same because men's love are closer to the God kind of love, unconditional. They're not expecting you to change. They marry you if you are slim, they don't want you to be fat, they just want you to be like that. They marry you if you don't use to wear hair, they don't want you to change into somebody that wears hair. They marry you if you don't use to wear makeup, they just want you to be the person that you are. But women go marry men. Ah, I don't like this man, not having dress. I will just marry him because I want to teach him how to dress. Ah, this man, he don't get money rich, the kind of man who I want to but I will marry him because he goes to school. When he graduates, he will get big job. Women marry potentials. That's why I say all women, we are gold diggers. We are looking for something to dig. But some of us will hide it under the pretense of, hey, he does not have anything, but I will stand by him. And I, I, when I married him, he have, didn't have money. But you didn't marry him because he had money married him because he didn't have money yeah but you married him because you know that maybe there will be a potential because women have this ability to look at somebody and say oh yeah 
this person has potential. He has a degree. He went to this. He has a first class. He has this. He's a brilliant man. He does not have money right now because he does not have a job. But in the future, he will have a job. If you married your husband, eh, that he was poor, and you know in your heart that he was going to remain poor, and you still married him, come out and comment here. Nobody will say the woman can lie anyway. They'll come and lie and say one well, So I don't trust them. But no woman marries a man hoping that the man will stay the same. They marry the man hoping that things will get better in the future. But men don't do that. Except they are really desperate. And that's why you will see a man who want to marry a woman. The woman will be showing him that, oh, this, this I'm a good woman, I'm a good woman. The man will be watching you. The moment he sees that there is one thing that he does not like, he will not marry you again. You know why? Because the man wants to marry you exactly what he saw. He does not want you to get into the relationship and change. Because men marry what they see. They marry a woman for what she is right now. They don't expect anything too much. That's a good point. But when a woman marries a man, she's expecting, ah, ah, it will, it will happen like this, it will happen. No. Men, they come into a relationship with little or no expectations. They just saw her, she's beautiful, she's young. Yeah, good enough for me. But women, mm -hmm. you go, you go get money, the man, no, no worry. You go, man, I go push him, I go push him, make it, make it change, I go push him, I go push him. So women, we are gold diggers. It's not a bad thing to be a gold digger. It only tells you that a woman wants a better life for herself, which is selfish, but that is... Well, see, I, I'll stop it right there. But what she's pretty much explaining is how women naturally are, right? Hypergamy, women want a guy. As she said, when she said, want a man that has the potential, a gold digger's not thinking about potential. Remember that, that video where a Muslim girl said, yeah, one thing about potential, baby, it's not, enough, it's not good enough. Call me when you're at the top. That's gold digger. But um, with woman, with that, that right there, what you explained, is a woman that's naturally a programmer. So of course she wants more, right? But still at the end of the day, if a woman is not seeing death to us, death to us part to death to us part, you need to run, right? But if that time happened, a lot of times she's going to be in love with you by that time. She will stay. You know, most women are not just gonna jump up and say, okay, I'm leaving you. You're down and out. No, it's her as well. She will stay. She will help her man. But I don't know if she will hand it like a wife i figured she would need to explain that more but uh then i will let me know okay you know what you're not the one guys want to be with but let me go on to the next one well for me it was that i started noticing actually the differences between uh the asian women and the western women and i actually i started to like compare both of them and um why would that be that uh, the Western men are going to Thailand to... Um, well, what I decided is that it's... Uh, the women in Western world, they are so pushing for their rights and the manly woman that they forgot, forget to be uh, women anymore. Emotional damage! And uh, it's like some of the Western men, when arriving to Asia, they find that there is still the uh, calmness in women, something more feminine uh, than back home, so I do think. You, do you think women back home take a lesson from Thailand now, or do you think they should be? Like, like, there, can we resolve this? Does it need to be resolved? That's kind of my question. I, I do think that it's possible to resolve this, but it's not on a uh, law or reason level, but it's more on the uh, spiritual heart level. Something, something more like that. that uh, of course, it's very nice that you are a businesswoman and uh, the business sharp, but maybe you should think about also the feminine part of yourself in um, how, how you act, how do you um, think about family values or something more like that. So, yeah, uh, that woman obviously seems like, I don't know from her accent is from, but she comes across like somewhere in the Eastern Europe you can tell in the way she's explaining it. She she understands why guys are leaving. And most of the world does, right? Think about it. You see all the drama happening in the West. You see everything. I even had seen a, a video of a guy who said, I'm sorry, Pastor Bro. I said what I said against you. And then I went through the same drama that you guys are saying you've been through or know about. And you left, right? You said, you know what? I don't want to be involved in that. I don't want to go through what what's happening? Some guys can leave because they don't want to go through what happened to other guys, right? Other guys getting taken for everything they have after they're married for twenty years. But still, it's a problem. And the bad thing is, the woman that guys are leaving don't see it as a problem. 
That's the bad thing. When you are dealing with a group of women who don't see what's wrong about them, will you stay? Think about it. And a lot of guys do. And I'm, I don't, I'm not mad at them, but and they, sometimes they don't realize it until much, much, much later. Same thing that happened with the guy that said, I'm sorry, I need to apologize to Passport Bros. Because they think that with a woman who's not like guys explain, and then they realize two, three, four years later, wow, she was the same way because she put on a facade. Or not a facade, she was in her normal state being with him. Once she seen she was uh, born out, she started monkey branching, looking towards somewhere else. And the guy slowly figured out and realized, you know what? This is not for me. But yeah, guys, this is why Passport Bros are leaving. They want something. They want something feminine and delicate. Feminine and delicate and everything in between. And they don't want, they want all of the good, not the bad. So guys are leaving to make sure they find someone that will get in their program and be all about them. Because they all realize. This is the way. Passport Bros. Passport No. There's definitely more to life. Dealing with something that's not that. Not be trouble, brothers. What we do in life echoes in eternity.